the two main rival Palestinian factions, Fatah and Hamas, signed a joint statement in Beijing on Tuesday. The declaration, brokered by China's foreign ministry, endorses the formation of a temporary unified government for the Gaza Strip and the Israeli-occupied West Bank. The statement was signed by both factions along with several smaller Palestinian groups. For China, this agreement marks a significant opportunity to position itself as a key peace broker in the Middle East. But the West has given mixed reactions to the announcement. The US State Department has dismissed the agreement saying that there can't be a role for a terrorist organization Hamas in governing the region. Miller however said the US stands firm on seeing Palestinian Authority taking charge of the region. Hamas has long been a terrorist organization. They have the blood of innocent civilians, both Israeli and Palestinian, on their hands. Um, and so when you look at the post-conflict governance of Gaza, uh, we do see, as we, we've made clear, we want to see the Palestinian Authority uh, governing a unified Gaza and the West Bank, but no, um, we do not support a role for Hamas. In contrast, the European Union has shown support for the Chinese brokered deal. European Union High Representative Joseph Borrell stated in Brussels that the bloc must support the process of unity among the factions. In Beijing, the, also yesterday, Palestinian factions had uh, cut an agreement brokered by, the, by China. And I've seen the Chinese foreign minister, who is someone very busy, uh, taking the time to present this uh, deal together with representative of the Palestinian fractions. This is an important news, and I think that the unity among the Palestinians is a good thing, and we have to support the process of unity among them. Previous attempts at reconciliation between Hamas and Fatah have failed, casting doubt on the potential success of this China-sponsored effort. Hamas has controlled the Gaza Strip for 17 years, while Fatah, the dominant force in the US-backed Palestinian Authority, governs parts of the occupied West Bank. While the agreement marks a notable attempt to resolve a deep-seated rivalry that impacts visions for the future governance of Gaza and the West Bank, its effectiveness remains uncertain. The coming months will reveal whether this new approach can succeed where others have failed.